how to understand any kind of document using AI. Today we are going to dive into Mistral OCR. This procedure is so powerful and allows you to turn any kind of document into actual text. And you can use this text to train retrieval augmented systems, you can fine tune models, you can do all sorts of things. It's one of the easiest ways to literally turn any handwritten notes into online notes and you could literally turn businesses online using this and you can use it right now completely for free of course up to limits this is mistral ocr so essentially what this does is it takes documents and turns them into text it can handle pdfs it can handle images you have to get started going into the mistral website you have to log in verify your phone number and then you want to go to api keys and create your api key Again, you don't have to put any kind of credit card, you don't have to pay anything. Keep the key, save it somewhere because you will never be able to actually get it again. And what we will do is specifically use their documentation to run this workflow. So let me show you exactly the options that exist and how to do it. So first of all, you want to install in Python the Mistral AI package. It's very, very simple. You do pip install Mistral AI. Okay, it's super simple. Hopefully you know how to set up Python and the virtual environment. If you don't know, it's 10 minutes work. You could literally search it on YouTube and find tutorials that will guide you all the way. So the first thing we will be testing out is actually taking an online publicly available document and using OCR on it. So the first thing we want to do is import Mistral from the Mistral AI. Then we want to call Mistral AI and place our API key here. For safety, I have placed it in a different folder. And then we want to use client.ocr.process. This will actually allow us to use OCR. So this is like the request. It's pretty specific code. You don't have to worry about whatever this means. You just want to select model Mistral OCR latest and then specify the document structure like this. So it says that it will give a document URL. This is the type of document. And this is the URL of the document. It's so simple. You don't have to complicate it. It's just this code. If you want to do this for multiple links, you just write a for loop and place all of the links in this specific format. So let's go ahead and run this to see the result. Okay, so this is ORC online. We write this code and we print the response. Of course, with the response, you could do all sorts of things, save it to files, regenerate anything. And the response is super huge. It's a big document. It's actually a paper. Images are encoded into base 64 format. So you can see here the response that we actually got. Okay, so to simplify even more the response, I'm going to actually save this in a markdown file in my OCR process data directory. So essentially the response contains pages and you iterate over each page and write it in a markdown. It's super simple, shouldn't be super complicated. Even AI can write this code for you. So this is not complicated. Even AI can run this for you. You literally can ask it to do Mistral AI OCR request for an image or a document online or whatever you want and make sure to write the result into a specific file. So here we can actually see the result. It's structured. It has all of the information. This has 95 like percent correction. It's pretty insane. You can also get like these JPEGs saved locally. We're not going to be doing that today. And all of the references. So this is how we turned an online document very easily with a single click completely for free into an actual markdown which we can use with AI. Okay, let's move forward to another test. We can actually also upload our own PDFs and we can actually do use the upload function over here. Again, I will try and make sure to place all this code in a single PY file and share it with you in our web community. The web community will be down below, completely free to join. Um, and you will find the file there. So go ahead and do that. So we are going to OCR a PDF that is locally existing in our uh, you know, computer. And let me, let me show you a little bit how the document looks like. So this is the document. We're going to OCR this. So let me show you the exact process. I will also show you other functionalities available from this tool. So you can know exactly what you can do with it. You know, give you all the code to get started super easily. So we read from a directory and we save the OCR result too. 
markdown so here is the markdown we can i actually have a preview here i have not downloaded the image but you could have like the image downloaded and yeah this is the result and you have all of the table here correctly defined the text the plots everything so that's also looking super super good okay so the next one is the ocr3 example so the next example is pretty much the same but you don't actually use the upload function you use the base 64 function and you encode your pdf like that i'm not going to go over it it's pretty similar to the previous one you can also ocr images from online repositories so that's nice let's test it out so this is an actual receipt that is existing on the web and we have the result over here so this is like the receipt and it says the due date the paid amount ticket etc etc you can do pretty much the same thing with a local image, for example, test2. The only thing that changes is that you pre-encode it using this function here. These are all publicly available on their documentation. I'm just going over what you can do. Uh, this is not hard code to use. I actually have seen tutorials from people that do NA10 and I firmly believe that this is a lot easier. Writing copy paste this code is a lot easier than actually setting up and using NA10 automation to do these things. I'm really sorry guys, but NA10, the graphical UI seems harder to me than actually coding these things because the APIs in pretty much any service is a lot better than NA10 and all of these HTTP requests. Oh my God, it's so bad. So yeah, before we finish, I just wanted to let you know that you can also use TypeScript and also curl commands if you want to use this with NARN or if you are more accustomed to JavaScript. So you've got options, you don't really have to use just Python. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you and I will see you on the next one.